Hello everyone. Now I will discuss how to find a transfer function of a mechanical system. How to find the transfer function of a mechanical system. The mechanical system consists two types. Translational system, rotational systems. So in this lecture we will discuss about the finding the transfer function of a translational system. So before finding the transfer function of the translational system we have to know the some concepts i will tell you in this slide so actually the translational system consists with basically three elements like in electrical circuit uh, basic elements are r l c resistor inductor capacitor like that there are here also three elements are there those are mass friction spring so translational system means it is a linear system so if any object moves linearly then there are some opposing forces applied on the object those are mass friction spring these are the opposing forces opposing force due to the mass opposing force due to the friction opposing force due to the spring some objects having the some opposing forces basically there are three opposing forces we are trying to move the object by applying the force that is called applied force so we are applying the force to the object to move certain distance so distance or displacement is indicated by x units are meters we are applying the force that is indicated by f units are newtons so when we applying a force to move an object certain distance x there are some opposing forces applying on the object those are these are the three main opposing forces opposing force by mass m opposing force by spring k by uh, opposing force by friction b mass is indicated by m friction is indicated by b k is, uh, spring is indicated by k these are the constants for the opposing forces right so these are the basic concepts so now we will move to the opposing force equations what is the fm what is fk what is fb see here in this slide you will get complete idea about the mass friction elastic elements so see here in the first case there is ideal mass if there is only an ideal mass it means the object consists only mass there is no friction there is no spring force so see here this is all uh, this is an ideal mass element connected to the reference then we are applying force f it is moving displacement x so f is the applied force opposing force due to mass is indicated by fm then what is the equation for fm so basically fm is directly proportional to the acceleration where acceleration is equal to see here acceleration is equal to dv by dt where dv by dt v is the velocity city so velocity is is equal to dx by dt so now a is equal to d by dt into where v is equal to dx by dt so this is dx by dt this is completely is equal to d square x by dt square so acceleration a is equal to d square x by dt square fm is directly proportional to acceleration fm is equal to equal to constant m mass constant m into a where a is equal to d square x by dt square in the terms of displacement right this is the opposing force due to mass now coming to the frictional element so frictional element is indicated like this this is the frictional element connected to the reference so this is the opposing force fb due to friction we are applying the force f then what is the equation for fb fb is directly proportional to velocity city v so velocity v is equal to dx by dt we know that fb is equal to constant b frictional constant b into dx by dt right this is the equation for fb but there is a friction element in between two displacements then what is the equation for fb so this frictional element frictional element is between x1 and x2 displacements then fb is equal to constant b into d by dt in the place of ax we have to 
take difference between two displacement okay so x1 minus x2 now coming to the elasticity element i mean spring element so spring element constant is indicated by k so opposing force due to elasticity is fk for example spring is connected to the reference then what is the equation for fk force equation for spring constant k so we are applying the force f then fk is directly proportional to x so fk is equal to constant k into x this is the equation for elastic element for example spring is connected between two displacement x1 and x2 then fk is equal to k into just x1 minus x2 difference between two displacements so these are the equations for three opposing forces now we will move to the example one see here this is example find the transfer function of the given system okay for example in the question directly asking about uh, find the transfer function of the given system then immediately we have to find the input and output so see here applied force f of t is the applied force so f of t is the input input is equal to f of t and it is moving some distance or displacement that is x of t then immediately output is equal to x of t okay what do you mean by transfer function transfer function is equal to the laplace transformation of output to the laplace transformation of input right now input is equal to f of t when we are applying the laplace transformation that it can be written as f of s x of t can be replaced by x of s because those are time domain these are completely converted into s domain formation right now the transfer function is equal to output that is x of s divided by input f of s right now we have to find the equation for our expression for x of s by f of s right we will move to the solution okay i will tell you simple tips to solve the transfer function first of all identify the number of masses in the given system so how many masses in the given system only one now take that mass so this is the mass in the given system m right now indicate the applied forces and opposing forces to the mass so applied force f of t now write the opposing force opposing force due to the mass that is indicated by fm next one opposing force due to the spring constant k that is fk next one opposing force due to the elasticity sorry opposing force due to the friction b that is fp right so see here this mass connected to the applied force and one spring constant one friction constant this spring and friction are connected to the reference right what is the displacement please just indicate here this is x displacement right now apply newton's second law apply newton's second law newton's second law says that applied forces is equal to sum of the opposing forces so sum of the applied forces is equal to sum of the opposing forces that is newton's second law from the newton's second law i am writing the expression for the force equation applied force f of t is equal to opposing forces fm fk fb now i will write i will write in the right side what are the expressions for fm fk fb fm is equal to already we we have seen m into d square x by dt square f k is equal to k into x f b is equal to b into dx by dt these are the expressions okay now write the now substitute in the first expression okay now immediately apply laplace transformation to the above equation laplace transformation to the above equation 
then then all time domains will be replaced into s domain this is f of s is equal to m into d square by dt square d square by dt square can be replaced by s square where x can be replaced by x of s plus k is the constant x can be replaced by x of s plus b into d by dt can be converted into s domain that is yes x can be replaced by x of s okay so laplace transformation to the d by dt is equal to yes laplace transformation to the d square d square by dt square is equal to s square clear now take the common term that is x of s okay now what is the our question that is transfer function transfer function can be x of s by f of s so x of s by f of s is equal to 1 divided by m s square plus b s plus k this is the transfer function to the given system okay this is the procedure to find the transfer function of the given system so in the next lecture i will take an another example okay we will see there thank you guys thanks for watching this video see you in the next class if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box